One of the most overlooked things in archery is follow through. There are two components to a good follow through. The first one is physical and the second one is visual. I'm Focus, and today I'm going to show you how to master both. So physical follow through is the way your body reacts to the forces of the bow going off. So naturally your bow hand will move forward and your release hand will go backwards. It's simply a reaction of a surprise release. So the amount of reaction will depend on a few things, including how hard you pulled into the back wall and also your holding weight. So why is a good follow through important? Well, it will extend your focus beyond your arrow leaving the bow. And also more importantly, it's a stamp of approval on a good shot. So how do you practice or get the feel of a proper follow through? I suggest blank bailing, go stand close to a target and then you draw up your bow, close your eyes and then you shoot your bow and get that feeling of a good follow through without being distracted by trying to release on the target. Once you've mastered that, you try and mimic that feeling on the practice range shooting at a target. Now let's take a look at visual follow through. This is not a subject that's often discussed but I think it's very important and it's basically when you extend your gaze onto the target after you've released the arrow. So while you're aiming, you look at the target and as you release the arrow, you keep on looking at the target and not being distracted by trying to look at the arrow. This decreases over aiming tendencies and also it reinforces you to look at the target instead of the pin. Why is visual follow through important? Well, if you can imagine an athlete trying to catch a ball the golden rule is for him to keep his eye on the ball until the, the ball is in his hands and it's the same thing with shooting a bow you want to hit the target so you have to keep on looking at the target this decreases over aiming tendencies and also it reinforces you to look at the target instead of the pin visual follow through will also help you curb peaking when you move your head to try and see where your arrow goes upon the release this can creep sooner and sooner into your shot and that's one thing you don't want to do. It helps you to keep your head still while that arrow leaves the bow and until it hits the target. So how do you practice visual follow through? If you're too distracted by your arrow flying through the air and you can't help yourself looking at it, maybe try and put a darker knock on there so you can't see the arrow and if you're still looking at it, maybe consider changing your fletching to black or a dark color. Um, but first change your knock, it's less of an hassle than refletching your arrows. And once you've mastered this and you feel that you're not looking at the arrow anymore, then you can change back to the old knocks or, and then also change your fletching again to the brighter color if you prefer that. Thank you for watching. I hope that these insights will help you complete your shot. If you have the inclination, please subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time, see you soon.